and this is a topic where individuals will probably try to be politically correct. Uh, I am going to give you my perspective, but I ask that you listen to the totality of where I'm coming from. First of all, I am a person that respects and believes we should uphold the rule of law. Having said that, I also realize that uh, it is a very manual, uh, in manually intensive uh, industry, as far, especially in the harvesting phase of crops and the like. I think the problem lies in the way that we uh, streamline or rather bog down the guest worker program. I think that we could use technology to enhance that process to allow more guest workers to come in to where we can have accountability for that. If we have illegals in the country, uh, there really needs to, and that's really, time does not allow me to uh, get into how I would deal with that, but essentially I, I say that we would give a 60 day moratorium on uh, illegals, uh, prosecuting them, giving them 60 days to get out of the country. And on the way out of the country, they get an optic scan, and then they get to the back of the line if they want citizenship. They, after they exit the country, they can come back in uh, as a guest worker. But I think we need to enhance the process for having guest workers here, and also the H2A is uh, too confining, too restrictive, and it place too much, places too much of a burden on the businesses and the uh, farming industry, so I think we need to really streamline and revamp that. H2B is uh, also equally burdensome for non-farm workers. So I would be something, I would be looking at legislation that doesn't just say, well, let's just give a pass to illegals. I say rather, let's look at the right way of streamlining the guest worker program and other uh, answers that are already there that the uh, people in the industry will be able to bring to the table. Thank you.